Hello, my name is Winston Gal, and I'm an inventor and researcher in the field of agriculture and water and nutrition. And today we're going to talk about a very special subject called alkaline water. Now there are many, many, many alkaline water machines sold today in the market. Alkaline water, the, at least the technology, was actually invented way back in 1904 by a Russian. And nothing was done with this technology. It's basically a positive electrode, a negative uh, uh, electrode, was a membrane in between, and you ended up making acid si uh, water on one side and alkaline water on the other side. Traditionally, they would put them in tanks, and they would process the water 15, 30 minutes to make good, real, medical grade alkaline water. And that's still the correct way of making alkaline water. They're called batch systems, where you put the water in a tank and you process the water. Since that time, modern technology has advanced the alkaline water machines to become flow through. So that means they are hooked up to a faucet and the water goes through it. And instead of spending 15 to 30 minutes, in one-fifth of a second, they're claiming that they're going to do the same job as the old tank system, which took 15 to 30 minutes to do the job. Well, if it doesn't sound right to you, it isn't. It's just like fast food. When you go to a fast food restaurant, you don't really expect good nutrition. right? It's food, it's edible, but it's not good. It's not great. Well, the same thing for alkaline water. When Instead of processing it for 15 to 30 minutes, these guys are processing it for 15, well, 15, sorry, uh, one-fifth of a second, okay? So there's no way they're going to get all of those properties. In the past, like two or three more years ago, many companies started to put tourmalin, and they started to put uh, coral calcium in addition to electrical charge, so they made sort of a chemical, electrical system in order to make alkaline water. That was different. Uh, still was not as good as the 15 to 30 minute processing time. And today, even more advanced machines who don't even use tourmaline and coral calcium, but strictly by putting many more plates into the machine, they electrify the water in order to make the ionization occur. Initially, I thought these were pretty good machines. But what I found out is that the more plates you put in there, the more force or more electricity you're going to have there. So they're going to have higher voltage, higher amperage, and especially the amperage, when you start pounding those plates, even though they're made out of titanium, because the electricity is so forceful, you're going to break these plates up. And of course, when you start talking to the repair people, and they are start replacing these multi-plated machines, and these machines are only a couple years old, you go, oh my gosh, these guys shouldn't have any business for at least 10 years, yet they're having business right now. So people are actually drinking water that has heavy metals in it. And in due time, as in two and a half to maybe at least five years, the titanium will accumulate in people's bodies, there'll probably be lawsuits, and because there'll be no evidence that they are actually over accumulating titanium. But that's an accumulation factor, so it's going to take several years for that to come out in the wash. So in the meantime, if you're looking for alkaline water, stick to the good old ways of doing it. The batch systems use very little charge, very little electricity, has always been the good ones. Stick to the old, tried and true 60-year-old technologies. Those are still the best ones. Thank you very much for listening. Have a great day.